couple of guys are working because they're going out the door tomorrow. And like we've been saying all along, our man Bueno, the lead for the uh, EVA tomorrow, he's going to have a whole new plan before he goes out the door. So he's working it up today. Uh, I saw him in there. We're going to say hi in a minute. Now, the other thing that's happening is we're going to try and tunnel our way into the new Russia module today. I think they're going to open the hatch in about an hour, so we're looking forward to that. Right. And we're going to leave our mark in there. We're so we're going to, going to go in there. Patch, and we're all going to sign it and right in there, which will be the one and only time we've ever put a U.S. mission patch in a Russian module. And then we're going to change the locks and sell everything from the inside. That's right. <laughs> hey, classmates asked uh, how you drink water in space. And so here's my bag of drinking water and my straw. And maybe, Hawk, you can help me out. The regular way we drink is uh, not too different from a straw out of a cup, but the more fun way to do it is make a little ball of water. And then, you probably uh, want it back, don't you? Um, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this going to be dangerous? No. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I made a small one. If you make them bigger and bigger, they get funner and funner. Uh, uh, Tony's trying to be the first person to drown in space. <laughs> drown uh, live on the down lake. All right, I think. And this is TJ, our resident station guru for IT and everything else. He's been helping us a lot Amen. during the uh, EVAs. So TJ, how many months have you been here? About five, a little bit over five. Has it any tax advantage? Any tax advantage? <laughs> no, it's not that I'm aware of. I tried for that actually. Uh, really? Yes. And, and fail. And That's fail. too bad. Yeah. So, what's the what's the best thing you've had got to do on this thing? Working with you guys. No kidding. Yes. It's been a lot of fun. Good, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, every time we go out and do an EVA or move the arm around, TJ is always ready to help, which is really good because he knows where everything is and how to put things together. So, when are you going home? Uh, just under two weeks. Two weeks. We look forward to seeing you back very soon, mate. I hope so. I look forward to being healthily back. All right. Good See ya. All right. Hello. Hello, this is Bueno, and he's been working hard getting the suits together for EVA 3 tomorrow, and he is the boss man at EV1 for that EVA. And Bueno, can you tell us a little bit about it? All right. We're uh, just doing some equipment lock prep, just getting things ready in here to go outside. I've got my uh, drink bag. 40 ounces of water, that's all you get for uh, six and a half hours out there. Uh, how about beer? No food. No, no beer, no, nothing. No other beverages, no. I've got my little comfort gloves to go on underneath my uh, EVA gloves. A few little things to put on, you know, get taped up before the big game. It's all very <laughs> exciting. Excellent. You looking forward to it? Oh, by all means, yeah. It's beautiful out there. What's the best thing about space walking on station versus Hubble? And I'm going to have this on the record. <laughs> For the record, uh, no, it's wonderful to go out uh, yesterday when we are out at the very end of the truss out there working on the batteries, you know, hanging on out there, the view was incredible. So uh, Hubble was inside the uh, shuttle's payload bay and a lot of times we just had our nose, we were actually inside the telescope, so it was nice to be out there in the, uh, you know, out in the neighborhood walking around, checking things out, it was a lot of fun. Can you tell that you were higher? When you're doing Hubble compared to here? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, this, you could see more of a curve. Yeah, this is like a low level. No kidding. <laughs> like a <laughs> yeah, strafing the, run. The ground looked a lot closer, definitely. We were about 120 miles higher. That's a long Hubble. way. Yeah. That's a long so way. Another, uh, so, which suit is yours? This is mine over here. We got the uh, bar pull stripes on it. So, uh, look for me tomorrow. Garrett's got the white stripes, which are identifiable on the, uh, the white suit as nothing. So, uh, this will be Garrett tomorrow, and this is me. Gotcha. And the drink bag just goes inside here, so the little straw pops up there, and you can just uh, take a sip when you need it. Well, I'm envious. i got to tell you, Bueno. So have fun tomorrow, right? Well, it's great having you on the arm, Pierce. Man, you were right there all day when we needed you. I'll try not to great smack job. you with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you <laughs> later, man. Number one, don't hit me. There you go. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Here we are on the cupola, looking over the uh, Russian end of station and uh, just tearing along over the ocean. Houston, Beautiful view. Houston station and uh, Spitzer Grand 2. And here is the new Russian module, Rasvet, looking right at it. And it's still firmly attached after we left it there a couple of days ago. What a relief. And this afternoon we're going to open the hatch and go inside. 